Over 100,000 people dies a year because of snake bites. Most of the deaths are due to the lack of proper treatment. Anti-venom is the only antidote that works effectively against venom. But it takes time, skill, and abundant resources to make. Despite the fact that humans learned how to make anti-venom more than 100 years ago, there are critical shortages of virtually every kind of it, especially in developing countries. Making anti-venom is a resource-intensive, painstaking, and time-consuming process. It's not much different now, than when it was first created in the 1890s by a protégé of Louis Pasteur named Albert Calmet, who was living in present-day Vietnam, when a flood forced monocled cobras into a village near Saigon, where they bit at least 40 people and killed four. Inspired by the then new science of vaccinations, by 1896, Calmet had discovered the process of injecting horses with venom until they produced antibodies, taking the serum out of the blood and injecting it into snake-bitten humans as anti-venom. Process is much improved a century later, but the steps remain largely the same. Step 1, Milking the Venom. The first step is getting your hands on a lot of snakes, which are quarantined and monitored for weeks to months to ensure the good health. Before milking, put on protective gloves. With some of the most deadly snakes, like banded crates or black mambas, experts often use a short-acting anesthetic to calm the snake down. Take a vial and cover it with a rubber or plastic film. Then, snake in hand, push the fangs through the plastic. Gently squeeze the glands to get out all the venom. To get enough venom, each snake must be milked many times. Step 2, Cooling down the venom. After milking, the venom must be cooled to below minus 20 Celsius and usually freeze-dried for easier storage and transport. Freeze-drying concentrates the venom and removes the water. It's important to clearly label the venom with the snake's species, any relevant subspecies and geographical origin, since venom can vary wildly between members of the same species, especially between young and old snakes. Step 3, Immunizing. Horses are most commonly chosen as the animals to create antibodies, because they thrive in many environments worldwide, have a large body mass, friendly and are easy to work with. Prepare the venom for injection by carefully measuring it out and mixing it with distilled water or a buffer solution. Then mix in some kind of adjuvant, a chemical that causes the horse's immune system to react and produce antibodies that bind to and neutralize the venom. Inject a small amount of the solution beneath the horse's skin, preferably on its rump or the back of its neck where lymph nodes and immune cells reside. It's usually a good idea to break up the shot into smaller doses, in various locations to avoid causing an ulcer or sore on the skin, and to maximize the surface area for an immune reaction. If the horse tolerates the injection, you'll probably give it several more doses days or weeks apart. Antibodies in the horse's bloodstream peak after about 8 to 10 weeks. At that point the horse is ready to be bled, which involves drawing 3 to 6 liters of blood from the jugular vein. Step 4 Purify A centrifuge is used to filter the plasma, the liquid portion of the blood, not including blood cells. Now it's time to separate out the anti-venom. This separation begins by getting rid of unwanted proteins. You do this by causing them to precipitate, or fall out, often by adjusting the plasma's pH or adding salts to the solution. One of the last steps involves using an enzyme to break down the antibody into small parts and isolating its active ingredient. After all this effort, your antivenom still must be deemed safe and effective by the FDA, which can take another 10 years. Step 5, Human Application. After the approval, the purified antibody product is freeze-dried or concentrated into powder or liquid form and put into vials for shipment. Once the product reaches an emergency room and a snake bite victim arrives, the vials are usually filled with saline solution and injected intravenously. If everything goes right, the antibodies then bind to and neutralize the venom, while the liver or kidneys clear out the excess chemicals. A snake bite that needs anti-venom requires an average of 20 to 25 vials. 
which costs about $25,000 for the entire treatment. So people, be careful out there. We hope, you enjoyed the video, we are happy to produce more, and please don't forget to subscribe.